The Kansas City Chiefs sure made us sweat in that one, didn't they? Chiefs Kingdom I was shaking during those last few minutes, but I still felt optimistic about the Chiefs pulling out a W pull out a W they did too, as the Chiefs won 29-20 against the Washington Redskins. The score would indicate that this was a more comfortable win, but let it be known it wasn't. Washington had a chance to win in the final few minutes of the game, but Josh Doxson dropped what would have been the go-ahead touchdown. The Redskins had to settle for the gametting field goal instead. From there, the Chiefs killed some clock and got into field goal range. Harrison Butker knocked it through the field goal that put the Chiefs up 23-20 with four seconds left to go. The Redskins had one final shot to win the game, but their lateraling failed. Give credit to the Washington Redskins in this one. They're a really good team. Not only that, but Justin Houston picked up the loose football and took it the other way for six. That was what made the score look more lopsided than it really was. Alex Smith was brilliant in this game as he went 27 of 37 for 293 yards, one passing touchdown, and one rushing touchdown. He got it going with his legs too, rushing for 56 yards off of seven attempts. Smith has been en fuego so far this season and is continuing to show that he belongs as the main man in Kansas City. It's also worth noting that Smith has yet to throw an interception this season. Kareem Hunt was kept out of the end zone but still had a great night, rushing the ball 21 times for 101 yards. The Redskins were a top-notch team when it came to stopping the run, but Hunt looked good despite not scoring a touchdown. The defense wasn't as stellar as they had been, allowing 20 points to the Redskins and giving up some huge plays, but at the end of the night, they got it done. The worst play was putting Justin Houston on Vernon Davis, which we saw in the playoff game only he was on Antonio Brown, and it didn't work then, so please don't do that again, Bob Sutton. Harrison Butker missed his first field goal attempt, but ended up coming through the rest of the night. It was a huge spot for the 22-year-old rookie to be in and he prevailed. Kickers miss field goals sometimes, and Cairo Santos was shaky when he was a rookie, so the fact that Butker missed but then connected on his next three was a good sign for sure. This was a nerve-wracking game, but it had the right result. Give credit to the Washington Redskins in this one. They're a really good team and gave the Chiefs all they could handle at Arrowhead. After Washington went up 100 in the first quarter, people had to be thinking this could end up as a blowout, but Smith brought the offense back and had an amazing night. The entire offense looked good, and that's a great sign moving forward. Kansas City Chiefs walk out songs for Chiefs players with a 29-20 victory, the Kansas City Chiefs are 40, and the only undefeated team in the NFL they'll hit the road next week for Sunday night football in Houston against the Texans, who are 22. That will be a really tough game for the Chiefs, and they're beginning the tough portion of their schedule. For now, however, let's enjoy this victory 40 baby go Chiefs.